Welcome back, guys, to the Mind Crack server. And today, we're on a mission. We're on a mission of spawn beautification. I have a couple of things I want to do, and they're all themed around one thing, and that one thing is, oh my gosh, the rain and the thunder and the sun coming up, I think, over there. They're all themed around one thing, and that one thing is to get rid of all of these torches all over spawn. Uh, really briefly, let's go check on the Death Games box. I checked it earlier, and it had in. Oh my gosh. It had Anderzel's name in it. But let's double check. Still Anderzel. We're online with Bedubs and Jasano. Jasano. So we want to get rid of all of these torches and also add a little bit more uh, beautification to the to the path system running around here I'm not worried about getting rid of the torches in these little store plots for instance that's kind of up to the individuals making um, this you know taking making use of these individual plots for instance all these torches up here they look fairly decorative Arcus made this one so I'm obviously not going to get rid of those. But all the stuff around the pass I'd like to get rid of. And I'm not the only one. B-double-O was talking about doing it. And if you remember, back at the Death Starter house, I have an automatic pumpkin farm, which I've been harvesting periodically. Just click the button. And so I've got six stacks of jack-o'-lanterns here that we're going to use to help get rid of the torches. Oh, zombies. I did end up getting Sharpshooter back after that last death. I Zed Camera had it. Uh, he picked it up by accident. The rain, yep, indeed. So anyway, uh, there's a few ways we can cover jack-o'-lanterns to make them sort of blend into the hillside. Let's put one right there, like so. Now, it doesn't look terrible. It certainly looks better than the torches. But I think we can do a few things to... Let's go ahead and just remove the torches from a, a small section here. We can... Oh! Little zombies! Little zombies! Come get some zombies! Oh, you got some armor! Oh, you little cute fella! Uh, it doesn't look terrible. It definitely... I think it looks better than the torches because it doesn't stick out of the ground like that it's flush and it's a lot it's e easier to ignore the thing okay I think a road eventually is gonna go through here as soon as someone takes it upon themselves to make a an animal pen let's see let's actually let's dump most of these in here for right now and I've got a number of building supplies I've placed here Oh no, slain by zombie. Careful. Uh, let's see, what was I looking for? Okay, we want this. This. This, this, this. And let's even try... Oh, I already have glass, okay. Um, let's try all of these. Let's put that in there. So there's a number of ways to cover these guys. Let's place a few around. Oh no! I just saw him a minute ago. Let's just place some here and there. And later I may get finicky about checking the light levels. Let's actually... I don't need the shears right now. Let's put those over there. And a stack of dirt probably wouldn't hurt. That even rhymed. Uh, so that I can manipulate the ground. Yeah, okay. All right, so uh, first way to do it, I tried a few different colors already off camera of these uh, carpets, the wool carpets, trying to match the colors of either the grass or uh, the road. So that is green. That's a, a green carpet. It's a little bit darker than the grass. It's not so bad. I wonder if we put it next to some leaf blocks. Oh, yeah, that would blend in even more if we had, like, some shrubs along the side. Uh, another option is to try to make it blend in with the road. 
That is a light gray carpet. Where you at? I wonder where he is. He keeps dying. I saw him running around just not too long ago. Um, that's a little too light. Here is a gray carpet. That's a little too dark, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not sure either of those will really work. This one is definitely better. So we may put those maybe at the edge of the road. I think in the center of the road, they take up too much attention, particularly because they're raised off the ground just a tiny amount. Okay, he's not responding. I'm trying to help him, and he's not responding. I don't know what I can do. Oh, base got destroyed. Oh. Oh, crap. Um, okay, so here's another idea. We can go two blocks deeper. I thought I put these... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm moving. Whatever. Uh, here's another idea. We can do something like this. And uh, we can make this so that it's something like this and put a fence on top. Or um, we could do something similar. Let's see. We would have to make it... So that it's facing down. That would be a little bit more intensive, but it would look like basically the back of a furnace. So we could do it like this. Yeah. And that was gravel, I think. We could do it like that. So both of these uh, pistons are transparent. So both of these guys are providing a block light. Unfortunately, because we buried it two blocks deep, we're going to need a lot more of them. So this is going to be less efficient. But we could, for instance, let's turn that off. Um, we could put that uh, that furnace idea, or, the, or rather the piston texture that looks like a furnace. This one. We could have a stone fence on top. And I think that still... I think that still provides us with light. See how it's block light 11 right there next to the uh, biome planes on the left-hand side of the screen? Block light 11. So the fence lets light through. So we could definitely do that. That would be kind of expensive. And this actually looks pretty good. That would be kind of expensive because of how many pistons it would take. Um, I think this maybe is a little too loud. And we're not using... I think we decided to use the, uh, the stone fences. There's a lot more of those over there. So I like this look. Let's get rid of this one. I don't like this as much. Man, I re you really need more space on the bars. I wonder if you could, uh, if the developers could implement something like what Terraria has, where you have hotkeys for specific actions, like um, hitting E to grapple. Maybe you could hit a button to use an axe or you know something like that. Up, oh, dude, 34. I wonder if B double O's AFK. He hasn't said anything. So let's get rid of this. And that. Okay, so the options we have, we've got this guy who's not very good in the center of the path. Uh, but it looks pretty okay. You know, reasonably okay over on the edge. Like so. And then we have one other option. The other option is um, gosh. Not enough spaces. The other option, which also works pretty good, in my opinion, is to hide the jack-o'-lanterns underneath uh, some shrubs like that. Now, you can obviously still see it's there, but it definitely minimizes it. It's much less visible than, than having one like that. See the difference? Yeah. So I think we'll do a combination of this guy and this guy. I'm not sure about this. I like this, but it's expensive because of the pistons and this guy too. So uh, maybe a combination of the three. Let's go ahead over here. I want to see how I want to see how far the uh, the stone walls are from the edge of the path. Hmm. So we could put one like there at this corner. And then we would need some on the other side as well. I'm not sure that that would provide enough coverage is the unfortunate part. 
So what I'll probably do is I'll start with the bushes and see what sort of effect you can make with that. And I don't want to, um, I don't want to make the, the, the hedges too, too dense, you know, too all over the place. Because then it'll start to look messy instead of um, like a properly maintained shrub. Jay Sano slain by a zombie once again. The other thing we're going to be doing is we're going to design some lamp posts. Uh, the lamp posts are going to be put around the road, and they will provide light as well. So maybe we should start with that. Actually, let's drop some of this stuff. Let's let's see. We're running out of space here. Let's put the wool up in this guy. And the die. The die as well. And I guess the pistons, because uh, I like the piston idea. I just think it's going to be too expensive to do all across spawn, because this area is pretty big. Jay Sano, man. Jay Sano, I, I offered help. I, I offered to help him. He didn't seem interested. Okay, so um, I was thinking, instead of me just uh, coming up with a lantern design and pasting it all over the world or all over spawn. I thought maybe I'd use this little area, which hasn't been taken really. It just has the old bed. Uh, well, I guess Pyro's using it, but um, this will be just here for a few days. Uh, I was thinking of putting up maybe six different lantern designs and then asking the guys on Minecraft what they think of them, which ones they prefer, and maybe we can mix and match different elements. And uh, then we'll go from there. And I actually made eight, as it turns out, but they're not here. I decided actually to move them, since this is uh, this plot has been claimed by Pyro. So I'm not really sure how soon he's going to start using it. So I figured it might be a better idea to just move them somewhere else that isn't currently being used. So I actually made eight, and I lined them up here. I've got some feedback already from MC Gamer and Seth Bling. So we'll go through them quickly. And there's just kind of a variation of reoccurring ideas in lamp design, I guess you would say. Okay, here's number one. Very simple, straight up and down. There's kind of two ideas with most lamp designs I've seen. Either they go straight up or they sort of hang over like this guy. And then they're either using, most commonly, stone walls or wood fences. So any of these uh, materials could be swapped out. So for instance, we could change that to like a block of wood and then these to uh, wood fences and that to a wood slab, that kind of thing. Um, so this guy is similar. He sort of hangs over. This guy, I wanted to use the, the fence gates and I think that looks, I think this one looks pretty neat. I think there's something to this fence idea. Um, even if the block, the other blocks end up changing, I still think that one looks pretty good. This one, I ca I'm kind of partial to this one. It's very minimal, uh, but I think it would go well, particularly with hit, hit, duck, hey, duck. I think it would go pretty well with the way these bridges have been designed, with the way they already have these wood and slab idea. It would, it would integrate with those really well. Um... And maybe we, we don't have one design. Maybe we have two. Just heard a zombie. Um, maybe we have these close to the bridges. And then one of the other designs. Maybe that one. Who knows. Elsewhere. Uh, here's another one. This one is kind of similar to this guy. But with stone pieces and iron fences. Are those called iron? F or iron bars. Iron bars. Instead of the, uh, the fence gates. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the iron bars. I, th I think the fence gates are better because they bracket the size of the block real nicely like that. And then here's the real simple one. This is like old reliable that everybody makes. The, this is like the first lamp anyone ever makes. I doubt we'll go with this one. I just thought it would be... I thought we might as well include it. There's a skeleton stalking us. Oh, he don't see us. That's right, I see him. Then there's this one. I don't know about this one. This one's kind of a... <laughs> it's a bit bulky and lumpy, and it would be kind of expensive because it would take four pieces of glowstone and 
16 redstone dust per lamp. And I, I don't think this one looks very good. And then there's this one, which is kind of a more minimal version of this guy. And I like that one all right as well. There's not a lot of stone slabs around spawn, though, so it might not go. Uh, Seth Bling liked number one, that guy. And number, I think he liked number one and number five, this guy. And MC Gamer preferred number three or number five. I think I prefer like maybe one or four or some variation of these kind of block designs. But we're going to let the guys sort of uh, add their input. And I also, I also left space here for people to just to add more. So if people want to add more, then um, that's fine too. Maybe some combination of different elements of these or their own totally unique design. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I just don't want to cover the whole spawn area in lamps and then have like half the people not like them. Okay, so that's that. Now, let's get to work getting rid of the torches and putting in jack-o'-lanterns and then trying to cover them up a little bit. Okie dokie, so here is the first attempt at removing the torches from the spawn area. I did sort of a section so I can get some feedback from the other guys. See how they like it, which parts they think are good, which parts they think maybe could be a little better. Um, later, Docs. Oh, he's already gone. We missed him. So we did a section here. I did a section here. Off camera. And uh, basically, I tried to make the uh, the stone walls kind of consistent. We had stone walls in some places and uh, wood fences in others. And I just tried to make it so that um, there was a little bit of consistency in how they how they operated, where they were. And then I added jack-o'-lanterns to the edges of the roads. I ended up not doing any of this wool covering. Actually, here's one. <laughs> Uh, that's probably the last one. Let's just get rid of that. Because it just, it stands out. It's too much of a sore thumb. Um, but I tried to make it fairly consistent. And I'm going to let the guys weigh in on whether they think it looks too random or which parts are good, which parts are bad. Um, do they like the more regular looking hedges? Or should it be all sort of random and uh, sort of just all over the place? Different people like different things, but for one, one thing is for sure, the torches are gone from this section all along the road. I didn't put a, a, a stone, stone wall around the, uh, the pond there, the fountain, but it stretches along here, and uh, I just tried to copy basically the stone walls that were uh, partially in place around here. So each of these little shops or whatever has a three block wide entry. And if anybody wants to change this, if I stepped on anybody's toes or changed something they don't like, they can feel free to revert it. Three block wide entrance there, uh, et cetera. Some of it doesn't quite uh, fit. So I didn't put any stone wall here, for instance, in front of the dock shop. It just didn't seem appropriate to block that huge label there because it just looked neat. Um, well, let me know what you guys think. There are sections like right here in the middle where the roads fork in a Y in three directions where it gets a little dark. This is mob spawnable surface right here. But uh, I've been wandering around putting in these shrubs and whatnot, and I haven't really been attacked. So I think it's working pretty well. Uh, here's another one, possible location for Hitman services. Um, this sort of, I didn't want to move his thing. So I just sort of built around it without trying to encroach on what he's already built. This uh, this was already like this. I didn't do that. Maybe we can do this. Uh, another thing all these shrubs do is if you want to take a shortcut 
over the walls, you can jump on the shrubs <laughs> to get across. So there's a little shortcut idea there. And this was already here, for instance. Uh, that, I, that doesn't look like the main entrance, though, because the door's on the other side. Um, yeah, so if the guys like this, if this looks okay, I will continue doing this for the rest of spawn that has stuff. Um, we still need a, a little one of these paths over to the map room and then around the corner over there and around by the uh, the wood farm and then over by the chicken thing and that way and over to uh, Etho Corp. So I have to do all that um, if this is uh, if people don't think it looks hideous more or less. Let's go ahead and add one here. Change that. There, perfect. Okay. And like I said before, I didn't want to put a, a wall around the fountain, but all of this is subject to change. It's all a work in progress. And if someone else wants to come around and do another, like a session of cleaning up and making things look better, that's fine. And then next time we'll probably add the lanterns and continue doing this kind of stuff. Well, that's it. Without further ado, see you later, take it easy, have a good day, bye-bye.